That's the kind of thing, you know, not mahuti. Christians have directly brought over 750,000 Jews to Israel. That it started with the Soviet or the Russian Jews. It continued with Ethiopian Jews, where we brought um, most of the Ethiopians. It continued with some of these lost tribes of Bnei Menashe from India. But um, today, um, we bring from 28 countries and um, um, roughly, uh, it's grown each year uh, since we started our own uh, Aliyah program. Oh, the idea of Christians mm -hmm. being a part of it. Mm -hmm. And money mm -hmm. that was here, we gave to them. We cannot rely, uh, frankly, on the institutions that exist to ensure, and we saw that, I saw that when there were 2,500 Jews who fled and had no place to go in the Ukraine. And Jewish world was unprepared financially and logistically. I believe that evangelicals support Israel because they connect Israel to their faith. Their Bible is a Jewish Bible. Their Messiah is a Jewish Messiah. And it's a, it's a connection. It's a DNA that goes back to Sunday school and to their very being. Uh, it's a love affair. It's a romance with a nation that is connected to uh, heaven and earth. We are happy to rely on assistance and donations from friends around the world and we don't see any difference between Jewish or Christian or Muslim friends. Anyone who wants to contribute to the cause, anyone who wants to provide funds or any other kind of help is welcome. Um, we love our friends and we don't see why some people should feel uneasy about taking uh, assistance or money from this or that friend. Religion is religion. You can believe whatever you want, but if people need help, you need help. It doesn't matter what color or what uh, race or what nationality, actually.